How to have top-notch table manners. Impress dinner companions with your flawless manners. It's as simple as observing a few key rules. You will need a crash course in dining etiquette. Step one. As soon as you take your seat at the table, place your napkin in your lap and obey the basic rules. Sit up straight, keep your elbows off the table, don't begin eating until everyone has been served, chew with your mouth closed, and silence your cell phone. Step two. Your bread plate is to your left. Place a chunk of butter on your plate, enough so that you don't have to keep dipping into the communal butter dish. Break off one bite-sized piece of bread at a time, buttering it just before eating it. Step three, take the water glass to the right of your plate. Remember, the DR in drink stands for drink right. As courses arrive, use the utensils farthest from your plate first and then work your way in. If a spoon and fork are at the top of your plate, use them for dessert. Step four, Eat soup by skimming your spoon along the surface of the broth away from you. Then bring it to your lips and sip it without slurping from the side. Should you find it excruciatingly hot, don't blow on it. Simply wait for it to cool off. When you're done, rest the spoon on your plate. If the soup bowl came with a saucer, lay your spoon on it. Never let a used utensil, including the handle, touch the table. Step five, cut your salad if the leaves are too big. Just don't hack up the entire salad at once. Step six, if someone asks for the salt or pepper, hand it over immediately, even if you need to season your own food. Always hand over both, even if your dining companion only requests one. Don't season your food without tasting it first, and don't over season, especially at a business meal. It looks childish. Step seven, remove something from your mouth the same way it came in. You can remove an olive pit with your fingers, but a bone or piece of gristle should be daintily spit onto your fork and then placed on the edge of your plate. Artichokes, crisp bacon, small fowl like quail and squab, strawberries and shrimp served with a tail may be eaten with your fingers. Step eight, when you're finished eating, lay your utensils parallel, the tops pointing at 11 o'clock. If you're merely pausing, cross your knife and fork on your plate like an X with the knife on the right. If you excuse yourself from the table mid-meal, put your napkin on your chair. When you are ready to leave, place it on the left of your dinner plate. Did you know? In Japan, slurping your soup is a sign of good manners. It shows your host that you are enjoying your food.